Hello everyone. Welcome back to my crafting world. This is Anna. Guys, you know, I always say guys, don't I? Everyone, don't you ever feel like just crafting, you know, just even if it's something from the past that it's so easy to do and people really don't make them anymore or just because you feel like it. So I felt like that today. I wanted to make something and I've been wanting to make it for, you know, a couple of weeks now, but I just haven't because eh, it's something that's been done so often by so many. And there are so many tutorials out there. And I said, heck, I'm a crafter. I get to craft whenever I want and do whatever I want. So I went ahead and used this Dress My Craft for You Always uh, paper pad. And I got this last year. I know the I uh, the few Valentine Day crafts that I have been making uh, have been with this paper pad. So I don't know if if you guys are familiar with Dress My Craft, but their paper is really really thick. It, it's super super thick, and I love crafting with their paper. It's it's very very good quality. So I use this guys let me show you what i made i made i just couldn't wait to use some of the th the things that i've used on here i made a tote bag and of course you know these have been made over and over and over but i still wanted to make one you know it was what i wanted to do so i made it when i got my swap back from lisa um, she sent this trim and when I saw it that was the very first thing I thought of to putting it putting it all on the top of a on the top edge of a purse or a handbag and yeah I love the way it looks Lisa if you're watching thank you so much I just love this trim it is so much fun so I put the trim okay so I made the bag it it's uh, I believe it's called a um, box bag because the bottom is a like a box you make the the bottom part like a box and this is it's a good size it's eight by six eight inches wide and six inches tall so I used the uh, the paper from the paper pad I used one sheet and it went all the way around I think I had an inch left over so I made the box and I did put a piece of chipboard at the bottom so it would be sturdy and it won't start to bow down. And then I wrapped it with the paper. And then at the bottom, I punched this trim in black and I went ahead and put it all the way around. And then I put this little gold trim around the bottom as well. And this is one of the hearts from Dollar Tree, except I backed it on black paper. And then I put it up on foam. And then I put another little, I glued another little heart in the center. And then another thing that Lisa gifted me was this cute little angel right here. Oh my gosh, it is so adorable. I just took my paint pen and I highlighted the angel wings. And I just thought that turned out so adorable. So that is the flap. The flap is closed with Velcro. And then I took the remaining, I only had a little bit of this, this of that trim. So I made a bow and put a black flat back gemstone on there and I glued it to the center. And then on top of the trim, I glued some uh, two rows of pearls. And I love the simplicity of this bag. I really, really do. And then right here, I made a little shaker, you know, just a shaker tag to hang on the on the on the handbag. And I used the, um, you know, the, the sequence I know I shared with you guys that I got from Allie. I used the red ones and then I had the XOXO from Target spot from last year and I put some of those in there. I just love the way that looks. Oh my gosh, I really, really do. So. I, uh, yeah, I made that little shaker. I just, it's a see-through see shaker from one side to the other and I just love it. And then I put this little bow on there, you know, those, this little rosette on there. 
and they normally have that little pearl in the center. So I removed the pearl and I took some E6000 and I glued this little heart with a key on there. I got that, I, I don't know how long ago. It was in my stash and I saw it and I said, oh, that's perfect. And then I just tied it on with uh, some, some string and so it would dangle. So that's the front and the sides and the back. And I didn't, the, the connection, the paper connection, I didn't put it on the sides, which would have been better because you wouldn't be able to see it, um, you know, from the front or the back. But the reason I don't like to do that is because the, the sides, we kind of manipulate those a little bit when we're opening the bag and I don't want it to come undone. So I just, I said, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right in the center. So yeah, I just love the way this turned out. I, you know, was in the mood to make a, a handbag. And then of course the uh, handles, I went ahead and made them black and then I put some of the uh, lighter paper as the handle and the little closure. So the closure just has Velcro and it's black Velcro. And there you go on that side. And um, on the inside, I just, I put my, what I had made, you know, and I shared this with you guys uh, when I announced, when I announced the, um, the, the group swap. I had these hearts left over from when I cut these out and I didn't want to throw them away. So I just, I put them on here and I think that that, that made a cute little accent. I like that. And then of course the, the box itself is black and this paper is not double-sided. So the inside is white. And so I thought that was a little, a good little, um, you know, accent to the inside. And I just love the little bag. Oh my gosh, I really, really do. Uh, the only thing I had to do to, to the trim was give it a little, you know, haircut, trim the edges because the edges are kind of, um, they have a whole bunch of little strays from when they make it. Um, if, so they have all these little pieces that stick up right here. So all I did was cut those down and I still have quite a bit. So I, I'm just so excited guys about this little bag. I love how it turned out. I really, really do. And that is just so I can have something in there. But I'm super excited on how it turned out. So I thought I would share this with you. Um, like I said, I know there's tons of handbags out there, tons of tutorials but I wanted to share my little bag with you anyway, because um, yeah, I like the way it turned out. I really do like that heart. And then this little shaker, I was just itching to make something with the little shaker bits that I had shared with you guys. So um, this is what I made. All right, guys, I just thought I would share with you my little project of the day because I felt like crafting, but I wanted to craft something old, I guess. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope it, it, it inspires you to make something that is in your heart to make and brings you a lot of joy. Thanks a lot, guys. Y'all have a wonderful day.